What is up, beautiful people? Welcome once again to Hate and Clothing. Welcome to another wonderful video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be making this beautiful butterfly ruched skirt. This has elastic detail on the sides, it has a zipper. It's a very simple and easy to do. All the measurements we need will be provided. That's the measurements you need to take. Also, we are going to be doing it directly on the fabric. We do not need a pattern to make this skirt. So if this is something you're going to be interested in, please do keep on watching. It is giving, guys. I love every bit of it. <laughs> it's accentuated my hips. Okay, enough rambling. Let us begin. Okay, for this particular skirt, all we need is our fabric. I'm using this silk-like fabric. I need my zipper, elastic, and then the measurements you're going to be using. Now, because this is like a ruched effect happening on the skirt, wherever you want the length to get to, you just add an addition of 20 inches extra to whatever length you want when you're done with making the skirt. So for instance, if you want the skirt to be on your knee, then you need to increase the length with about 20 inches that means to get to your ankle and if you want the skirt to get to your ankle when you are done then you need to increase the length of the um, skirt with 20 inches extra okay so you just increase the length you can do 20 to 25 inches depending on the kind of ruching effect you want all markings will be taken directly on the fabric and it's also going to be taken on the right side of the fabric so we're going to fold our fabric on the right side, that um, wrong side on wrong side, using the widest part of your measurement, okay? And then adding some extra to it. First measurement we're going to be taking is along the waistline. So... You're going to take your waist measurement and divide that measurement by 4. My waist is 36 divided by 4 is 9 inches. So I mark 9 inches right here at the top. I hope this fabric is not so colorful that you can't see you. That's what I'm trying to mark well. And then from that waist, you're going to measure your hip line. Hip line is 9 inches below. And then on that hip line measurement, I'm going to take quarter of my hip measurement my hip measurement is 44 divided by 4 is 11 inches so i'll mark 11 inches here so you can just continue this 11 inches all the way to the length of your skirt from this line here that we've marked to make your butterfly effect we're going to be coming we're going to be measuring about what is left here i have about eight inches here so if you have um lesser fabric you can use six inches five inches would be too it's okay it's like very small moderate if you don't want too much volume or paparazzi but this one eight inches is going to fall nicely i'm going to mark the eight inches here too on the hip and then just join those two points with a straight line Awesome. So we have marked the other side of the fabric. 
Okay, so on both sides now we have um, an equal, that's the same thing on both sides of the fabric. So I'll get the other fabric left over, fold into two, making sure the right side is facing me. Okay, so I'm going to place the front on it. I'm going to let the folds, okay? So I need about one inch there for sewing allowance. That means I can still move this one inwards a little bit. beautiful so now we have this pretty um fabric cut we are going to then separate the back side that's the one that has the one inch showing allowance we're going to open it up okay and before we even open up come to the very top and notch here where all those points meet that's where all the waistline where we marked just want to notch it about one inches deep that's okay that one inch deep is okay so i will then separate this back piece into two parts because we need to impute the zipper okay so now that we have this we're going to go first of all to impute our we're going to go and impute our zipper and close up the other part of the stitch. So to impute the zipper, of course, you are going to be putting it right side on right side this way. You're going to be sewing on the wrong side now. Put your zipper and close up the rest of the stitch. Then if you're going to be putting a slit, make sure you mark where your slit will be. Okay, so we have inserted the zipper for the back already. Okay, and then we've also closed up the back there. We've closed it up. Now for the slit, I left about 15 inches below. Remember the length of my skirt, I increased it to 16 inches because I want it actually long. And then the next thing I'm going to do now is to hem round the perimeter so from here that we notched i'm going to be hemming the waist that's the extension and then hemming the sides that's just folding it in just do a road hem or you search and then turn once whichever the case may be so i'm going to be hemming hem all the way to the bottom and even finish off this um slits properly because we don't want all these hairs that are fraying here Go to the other side, that's the left hand side, and then hem, 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 do your road hem all the way till you get back to where you notched at the top. That's where you stop. So once you've done that for one, uh, for the back, you get the front, and then you start from the waist where we notched here. So you're going to hem from the extension into the seam, that's the side seam. You need to do that first hem the bottom then go back to the sides and up onto the top so you do all the hem around the perimeter once you're done with that we can then do the joinings so what we're going to do now after sewing around the perimeter of both the back and the front we're going to then take right sides facing you for this fabric for the back place the back right sides facing you and then take your front piece for your front two, you have also sewn around the perimeter. Place right sides on right sides and then go and stitch this part here. So I'm going to stitch about quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. We didn't really leave any sewing allowance for to take care of this particular step. So once you are done stitching that, just stop where this notch is. That's where this notch ended or just a little below it so once you're done stitching that we'll come back to see the next steps 
Okay, so this part has been stitched now. You can see the amount we stitched and how low I went right there along the waist. What you're going to do now is to turn this to the right side because we now need to sew on the right side. Okay, place it on the right side. Here you're going to be using your pins to just pin along the stitch mark we made as the chalk mark we made okay so you're just going to sew along this i, I hope you can see those chalk marks Okay, so this is what we're going to have now. What we'll just do is go over to the sewing machine and stitch along the sides. Once we are done stitching this side, we're then going to do a stitch just next to it that is just about half an inch wide because that is where we're going to be passing our elastic through to ruch this skirt. The elastic should be able to fit in to the channel. We're going to create a channel just next to it. So another stitch making that space about half an inch wide on both sides as well. So there'll be two stitch lines right here and same applies for this other side, two stitch lines right here. So let's do both stitch lines and then we fix in our elastic band and then you go ahead to put a band on your skirt. guys so we have stitched the channel for the elastic that will be going in you can see the stitch for the channel right i hope you can see it okay so on both sides you should have that stitch the next thing you're going to do is get your elastic band and then measure out the length of elastic you want um because i want it to be like a midi i'll just let my elastic be about 34 inches will be fine for me okay i will just measure out where the other one gets to and slash there beautiful now that it's opened up we're just going to use our safety pin to pass the elastic into the channel so pass the pin and then just channel it through all right so um i'm going to shorten this elastic it was kind of long because when i put the elastic in i'm seeing that it's quite long 
so i'll make sure that it's equal equal bang let me just share this in and then i will check yeah so it's looking equal now on both sides so i'll just pin here so that i can trim off the excess now before i trim we we'll just need to secure this both at the top and at the bottom use a pin to hold it down and just secure with your stitch and that's about it guys i went ahead to just do it a bandless by just turning it along the waistline half an inch inwards um yeah that's just it so the inside of course is looking so pretty right the only part you may need to um do some surgeon will just be along the zipper area but aside that everything is looking super neat so on to wearing a beautiful creation and of course you can always um move up or down however you want the style to be if you want the sharing to fall towards the bottom do that if you want to spread evenly do that however you want it to look please go ahead too and please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up guys i'm sure you found this video helpful um simplified and easy for you to work with don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up subscribe if you get to until we see you in the next tutorial stay safe god bless you all bye